What's up guys, Asian here again with another theory crafting video and today we're going to be discussing the mathematics behind Twice Born Star. Um, so Twice Born Star has been kind of been raised as a potential set to play around with in the Wrathstone PTS mainly because of the changes that were made to the Shadow Mundus in 4.3.2. So they decided to buff the Shadow Mundus, so currently it is 9% additional crit damage on life, uh, but they decided to buff it up to 13% on 4.3.2, and naturally that raises a bunch of questions as to whether or not Twice Born Star is going to become a potentially viable set again, or a you know, best in slot set for Magicka and Stamina DPS. However, um, just from a mathematical standpoint, uh, there are a couple of hurdles that Twice Point Star kind of has to make, and currently, and a lot of it depends on what sets you want to replace with Twice Point Star, um, but because of the way the 5 piece works with Twice Point Star, you're typically going to be replacing a set that is on your body. Um, so, a lot of it is basically going to be taking a look at those sets specifically, the body sets, what you're replacing in terms of, you know, the, the body sets and how that five piece kind of works out here. So we're going to be taking a look mainly at the overall set bonuses that the uh, Twice Born Star as well as the sets that it are, aims to replace offer for the for each user. So for those of you guys who don't know about Twice Born Star, Twice Born Star is a nine piece crafted set that is found in Craglorn. So you will basically need to be a master crafter in order to create this set. So the two, three, four piece adds uh, health, magic, and stamina. And then the five piece allows you to have two Mundus Stones at the same time. So you can basically think of the five piece bonus as essentially whatever additional Mundus you're gonna take, whether that's the shadow or the lover or the thief or whatever, um, the mage or the servant, whatever have you there. Um, and of course, this is going to be affected, the second Mundus is affected by how many Divines pieces you have. So if you have seven Divines, then both your Mundus stones will be affected by all seven pieces of Divines that you are wearing. So how do we basically translate this set into set armor bonuses? So obviously, uh, with the health bonus, you can pretty much ignore that in terms of... Uh, in terms of set bonuses. Uh, yes, in my previous two videos I mentioned that with the max health bonus you can run something like Lava Foot on Stamina DPS or Ghastly Eyeball for Magic DPS, but you can arguably also still gain that same bonus. You can achieve the same thing by just putting a health enchant on a large piece. And so in that instance, you the max health really isn't considered a set bonus here. So you have one stam and one max magicka. So those each consider as one set bonus. Of course, they are different set bonuses. So obviously a stamina and DPS will not make much use of that mag magicka bonus there. So for magicka and stamina and DPS, you have a default of one set bonus. Now the five piece, like I mentioned before, it's going to depend on what specific Mundus that you are going to pick up. You already can have one Mundus boon, so it's really going to be taking a look at that second Mundus boon instead, and kind of uh, how this all plays out here. So we're going to take two examples here, the Magicka DPS and the Stamina DPS. So I'm on the Stamina DPS spec right now, um, so I'm going to show you the Stamina DPS spec first, but I, I will not you know, go through the whole trouble of changing over to a Magicka DPS spec, but I will still go over the mathematics of the Magicka DPS spec to kind of give you an idea of where Twice Born Star stands and the kind of mathematical hurdles that it has to go through in order to basically become the next best set. So for Stamina DPS, the general considered meta right now is Reliquin on the body, Advanced Yukata on the front bar, and then you're running the Lover as your Mundus Stone. So obviously the next Mundus that you're going to pick up with Twice Born Star is going to be the Shadow or the Warrior. So we're just going to go uh, with the Shadow now. So Twice Born Star does need to be on the body because you can't have it front barred. If you swap out and to your back bar and you lose that five piece bonus, you drop your second Mundus Stone. And when you swap back, you will not get it back at all. So Twice Born Star pretty much has to be on the body. So it would be replacing Reliquin. Um, now, as you saw in my previous video, it is possible to wear Twice Born Star and Reliquin at the same time. You will have to give up your Monster Helm set in order to do so, though. So if we are just looking at, let's just say we just want to replace Reliquin right off the bat. Um, we already see that we're losing a lot of stuff compared to Reliquin here. So basically, the trade-off that you're making is if you're running, if you're going to be using the Shadow as your second Mundus Stone, you have 90% additional crit damage. That needs to basically be better than the proc damage that you get from Reliquin, that five-piece bonus, 
the two weapon crit chance bonuses, so 833 times 2 divided by uh, 219. Um, so that's, what, 1666 divided by 219. So that's about 7.6% uh, additional crit, as well as the minor slayer. Now, the thing with crit damage is that it's very, very difficult to translate this into a set bonus. The closest equivalent would be something like weapon crit instead. Um, so you can basically say 19% additional crit damage. You know, it's, it's again, it's really hard to kind of set it as a set set bonus. Um, but you can basically think of, you know, what are you giving up? So Reliquin, the five pieces, you know, if you take a look at parses, is anywhere between like 7 to 8k DPS. So does that 19% additional crit damage make up for, you know, that 7k DPS you're losing from dropping Reliquin, as well as the Minor Slayer and the additional weapon crit chance? It's, it's really, really difficult to say here. Um, um, and of course, if you do decide to run twice one star and Reliquin like I showed it in the, in the other video, uh, you will be giving up Veladreth. So again, you're taking a look at does that 19% additional crit damage outweigh that weapon damage bonus from that one piece and the additional proc damage that you get from Veladreth. So the 14k uh, damage at a bare minimum. If you're able to get two spores, that's 28k per proc. Um, if you're getting th all three spores to hit, if you're really lucky, um, that's 42k damage for every nine seconds. So that's kind of what twice one star has to kind of match up to now you know so so that's how it is on the stamina side of things on the magic side of things it's a little bit more it's a little bit easier to compare just because of the set that you were probably going to end up replacing uh with twice point star which is probably going to end up being something like mother sorrow so mother sorrow uh does add additional spell crit um so actually let me put this on so we can get a side-by-side -side comparison here so mother sorrow does have max magica so you can see that's what's going star is equivalent there so we're really taking a look at um the, the mundus compared to the spell crit that you get so mother sorrow gives you 16.3 percent additional spell crit uh actually i think it's 16.4 additional spell crit um with the mundus stone uh you're basically looking at adding in the thief. Uh, if you're running Mother Sorrow and Spell Strategist, at least in, current, in this current patch, you're probably going to run the Shadow instead of the Thief, just because uh, you have a higher crit chance, so the Shadow will end up being stronger. So your second Mother Stone would be the Thief. Now you're basically giving up 16.3% crit chance for the th for the Thief, which is only 10.6% crit chance. So you're basically losing about 6% crit chance by running twice one star versus mother sorrow so in in this instance you know twice one star is not going to match up to mother sorrow and we already saw that with the magica dps uh video there where twice one star was parsing lower than mother sorrow so uh, in terms of mathematics twice one star is really fighting an uphill battle and that's just because of the nerfs that have happened to the mundus stones throughout the ages so the mundus stones have already seen two nerfs particularly the thief and the and the shadow so they have been nerfed twice so once i believe i think it was in one tamriel when they were nerfed and then again in the horns of the reach uh the shadow mundus did get a buff in this particular next in this wrath stone patch um however the thief is still remains nerfed it's still only seven percent base additional crit chance so in order for twice point star to basically match mother sorrow um you would basically need to increase the base crit chance of the thief uh probably up to maybe even up to nine percent or something so if we do nine percent times 1.52 um that gives us 13.7 so it actually have to be up to it would have to be up to 11 percent additional crit chance if we want the thief the twice point star to basically beat out mother's sorrow if that is the set that you're going to be replacing uh so that's a pretty tall order and you can already see that at least from magic dps twice point stars pretty much mathematically doesn't have a really standing chance um against things if you're replacing mother's sorrow if you're replacing something like burning spell weave then you know that's is a little bit again it's a little bit more difficult to compare um basically you're taking at 10.6 crit chance um so if you go ahead and do 10.6 uh crit chance and we multiply that out by 219 um oh that's plus not multiplied that ends up being 2321 and if we divide that by 833 that ends up being about a 2.8 uh, set bonus so you can think of twice point star as basically 2.8 set bonus as the five piece so a total of 3.8 set bonuses um and if we think about something like burning spell weave which has three set bonuses from a two three four piece already that five piece bonus already 
makes means that Burning Spell Weave is going to beat out Twiceborn Star because that five piece is already worth more than uh, the the Twiceborn Star uh, than the remaining 0.8 set bonus you would need. So um, the five piece for Burning Spell Weave again is 525 spell damage times the uptime, which is at max 66%, and then you divide that by 129 because it's spell damage, and that's 2.68. Um, set bonus on that five piece for burning spell weave so burning basically it, it's very very difficult for for twice born star to really beat out mathematically any of the other sets and this is our without considering things like raid buffs and things like that so just in terms of mathematics it's definitely an uphill battle for magic dps at the very least for twice born star to kind of push ahead for stamina dps things get a lot more murkier just because the second mundus stone you're picking up is typically going to be the shadow and there's really no easy way to con convert the, the shadow um a crit damage bonus to a set bonus um obviously from from the test that i've done you can see that twice born star and reliquin if it is competitive but obviously like i mentioned in that video it doesn't scale very well uh with raid buffs at least not as well as reliquin and advanced yokata plus you're giving up bell address which is actually a fairly significant dps loss if you're able to get two or three spores to hit on a boss with a large enough hitbox so twice point star it it's still a good set i'm not saying it's a bad set but obviously there are better combinations out there uh both from a mathematical standpoint as well as from an actual you know in-game performance standpoint so Tyrusborn Star, it's nice. I would still probably keep a set around on the off chance that you do decide to end up buffing the Thief for whatever reason, or any of the other Mundus Stones. But at the same time, if you're already running Reliquent Advanced Yokata, you're, you're not really going to be changing out one of those sets for Twiceborn Star. Um, that's just the, the way that the things are. So Twiceborn Star is a nice gimmick, um, but ultimately it does lose out to other set combinations that are already currently in the game and have already been proven to pull higher DPS both in self-buff parses as well as in raids. So that is pretty much it for this video here. Let me know down in the comment section below whether you're going to end up using Twice Born Star. Again, like I said, it's not a bad set. It's just that if you are trying to min-max, then there are going to be better combinations out there. Hope you guys found this video informative, and I'll see you guys in the next dungeon.